Hello! My name is Walter the Wizard, and I'm going to let you in on some sorcery. This is better than any spell you've ever heard of. It's better than being able to fly, better than becoming invisible, better than teletransportation. I'm going to show you how to solve word problems. First, let's open up the magic problem solving toolbox. These tools are all that you need to solve any word problem. So anytime you're faced with a problem, just think of the magic toolbox and take out a tool with your mind. Let's try this example. There are three trays of cookies. Each tray holds six cookies. The baker sold four cookies. How many cookies are left? Let's choose a strategy. To visualize this, let's draw a picture. There are three trays, and each tray has six cookies. Then, since the baker sold four cookies, we want to take away four. So if we connect the math to our picture, first we drew three trays of six cookies on each tray, so that's three times six. Next, we took away 4, so that's subtracting 4. If we do the math, we get 3 times 6, 18, and then 18 minus 4 is 14. There's our answer, 14 cookies. Let's try another example. The Stanton family is going to a concert. The prices for tickets and parking are shown in this table. The Stantons will buy one parking ticket, two adult tickets, and three child tickets. What will be the total price for the Stanton family? Shish, this is a tricky one. All I know is that now I'm in the mood to go to a concert. I think I'm going to try and use the number line model for this one. First, they bought a parking ticket. So I'm going to start at $0. And since the parking ticket was $2, I'm going to jump two. Then they're buying two adult tickets. So that is $8 two times. And next, three child tickets. So we need to add four three times. So our equation would be two plus two times eight plus three times four. If we solve that, we get two plus 16 plus 12. Well, 2 plus 16 is 18, and 18 plus 12 is 30. So that means the total price was $30. Now let's check this problem out. Gail has $180. Each book at the book sale costs $12. How many books can Gail purchase? Hmm, I know books cost $12 each, so, um, I think I'll make a table. If I have one book, it costs $12. I need to know how many books cost $180. Let me see. If I have five books, it would cost 5 times 12, which is $60. 10 books would cost 10 times 12, which is $120. 15 books would cost 15 times 12, which is 180. There it is. The answer is 15 books. Go forth and remember to use your tools and the problem-solving steps to approach each problem, casting them under your spell, and behold the solutions you will find. Now, if only I could find a spell that would cook me some dinner. Problem solving makes me hungry. Good luck.